1. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. 2. Never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. 3. If you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. We are just an advanced breed of monkeys on a minor planet of a very average star. But we can understand the universe. That makes us something very special. Quiet people have the loudest minds. Life would be tragic if it weren't funny. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. It surprises me how disinterested we are today about things like physics, space, the universe and philosophy of our existence, our purpose, our final destination. It's a crazy world out there. Be curious. My expectations were reduced to zero when I was 21. Everything since then has been a bonus. The victim should have the right to end his life, if he wants. But I think it would be a great mistake. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do, and succeed at. While there's life, there is hope. I have noticed that even those who assert that everything is predestined and that we can change nothing about it still look both ways before they cross the street. One of the basic rules of the universe is that nothing is perfect. Perfection simply doesn't exist, without imperfection, neither you nor I would exist. In the universe it may be that primitive life is very common and intelligent life is fairly rare. Some would say it has yet to occur on Earth. I think computer viruses should count as life. I think it says something about human nature that the only form of life we have created so far is purely destructive. We've created life in our own image. The universe doesn't allow perfection. My goal is simple. It is a complete understanding of the universe, why it is as it is and why it exists at all. There is a fundamental difference between religion, which is based on authority, and science, which is based on observation and reason. Science will win because it works. Although I cannot move and I have to speak through a computer, in my mind I am free. If time travel is possible, where are the tourists from the future? People who boast about their IQ are losers. The thing about smart people is that they seem like crazy people to dumb people. I'm not afraid of death, but I'm in no hurry to die. The downside of my celebrity is that I cannot go anywhere in the world without being recognized. It is not enough for me to wear dark sunglasses and a wig. The wheelchair gives me away. Not only does God play dice but he sometimes throws them where they cannot be seen. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. If you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. I don't think the human race will survive the next thousand years, unless we spread into space. So Einstein was wrong when he said, God does not play dice. Consideration of black holes suggests, not only that God does play dice, but that he sometimes confuses us by throwing them where they can't be seen. You cannot understand the glories of the universe without believing there is some supreme power behind it. I regard the afterlife to be a fairy story for people that are afraid of the dark. So long as the universe had a beginning, we could suppose it had a creator. But if the universe is really completely self-contained, having no boundary or edge, it would have neither beginning nor end, it would simply be, what place, then, for a creed? Nothing is better than reading and gaining more and more knowledge. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Where there's life, there's hope. We only have to look at ourselves to see how intelligent life might develop into something we wouldn't want to meet. It matters if you just don't give up. To confine our attention to terrestrial matters would be to limit the human spirit. If 
aliens ever visit us, I think the outcome would be much as when Christopher Columbus first landed in America, which didn't turn out very well for the Native Americans. The idea of 10 dimensions might sound exciting, but they would cause real problems if you forget where you parked your car. The human capacity for guilt is such that people can always find ways to blame themselves. I like physics, but I love cartoons. Only time whatever that may be, will tell. The increase of disorder or entropy is what distinguishes the past from the future, giving a direction to time. I'm not afraid of death, but I'm in no hurry to die, I have so much I want to do first. Time and space are finite in extent, but they don't have any boundary or edge. They would be like the surface of the earth, but with two more dimensions. One is always a long way from solving a problem until one actually has the answer. It is not clear that intelligence has any long-term survival value. Be brave, be curious, be determined, overcome the odds. It can be done. We are in danger of destroying ourselves by our greed and stupidity. We cannot remain looking inwards at ourselves on a small and increasingly polluted and overcrowded planet. Eternity is a long time, especially towards the end. Government works best under the glare of public scrutiny. Absent such scrutiny, abuses occur. The human race does not have a very good record of intelligent behavior. If the government is covering up knowledge of aliens, they are doing a better job of it than they do at anything else. God abhors a naked singularity. I regard the brain as a computer which will stop working when its components fail. There is no heaven or afterlife for broken down computers. That is a fairy story for people afraid of the dark. Simplicity is a matter of taste. We each exist for but a short time, and in that time explore but a small part of the whole universe. What did God do before he created the universe? Thus, in a sense, we are all doomed, even if we stay away from black holes. There could be whole empty worlds and empty people made out of empty particles. However, if you meet your empty self, don't shake hands. You would both vanish in a great flash of light. People won't have time for you if you are always angry or complaining. While there's life, there is hope. The universe does not behave according to our preconceived ideas. It continues to surprise us, 